All right, today we're gonna be unboxing the IWI Galil Ace Gen 2. It's a rather large box, so I'm going to attempt to try and keep it in frame, but may not be able to. So we'll just go ahead and take the accessories out and then set them on top of the box. So first things first is you're gonna get a 30 round Magpul PMAG uh, Gen M3, and this is the windowed version. Nice that they upgraded it to the, the window version like that. You also get a cheek riser for the stock. Uh, the stock that's included on here is the Magpul CTR. And so this is the 0.75 inch uh, cheek riser. Then you also get a bag with all your literature and other things in it. So first is the manual. And included is also an addendum to the manual. IWI's manuals are usually pretty good. Uh, there are no highlighted warnings or anything, um, but they do provide pretty good uh, illustrations. No pictures in here, at least not uh, during the, like explaining the takedown procedures and whatnot. It's all just drawings. You also get an IWI keychain, as well as an IWI sticker, a red lock, and a couple other things, a card asking you to join the NRA, and a couple of booklets from the National Shooting Sports Foundation, or NSSF, and your warranty registration card. All right, I'm gonna get this all out of the way, get the rifle on the table, and we'll go over the features of it. All right, so I got it out of the box. Like I said, this is the IWI Galil Ace Gen 2. I'll get some close-up video of it. A lot of people compare this uh, to an upgraded or uh, better AK. Since I'm not super familiar with AKs, I'm not going to give my opinion on what I think in regards to an AK. Overall though, construction feels very nice. Feels like a very solid gun. over the barrel. The barrel here is a 16 inch barrel. It's a chrome lined, cold hammer forged, chrome molly barrel. And it is threaded half by 28. And I don't think I mentioned it, but this one is chambered in 556 five, by 45. You'll see a lot of these chambered in uh, 762 by 39. Handguard here is an aluminum handguard with M lock all the way around. So on the left and right side, you have two M lock slots going all the way down. Nothing on the diagonal. Then you have M lock on the bottom. You have two what seem to be QD points in the front right there, both on the left and right side. And on the front is just an A2 birdcage style flash hider and on the top of the handguard is Picatinny rail along with T markings on the top and this is a very rigid uh, setup for a handguard so you've got four connection points as you can see there well really three so you've got one, this one goes all the way across and connects here, and you've got your third one right there. The receiver is a milled steel. So this portion right here, 
and then your lower portion, uh, which I believe is new to the Gen 2 of Galil's, is constructed of polymer. So your whole magwell, trigger guard, and this rear portion here, leading all the way to the front, is all constructed of polymer. So you've got full ambi controls. You got a safety right there, which is also present on the other side, right here. I could see this being uh, an issue for someone that is left-handed. I feel like that might dig into your trigger finger. You got your mag release right there, as well as on the other side, right there. This is a reciprocating charging handle, and the charging handle is constructed of steel. And the dust cover, it does rock back and forth uh, as it is reciprocating. It does have a foldable stock with, as I said before, a CTR uh, stock made by Magpul that has QD slots both on the left and right side. And then as you adjust this and you move it, a lot of times you may have some wobble like this. It's got this tensioner right here that prevents it from wobbling. And so the foldable stock portion does allow you to attach essentially any AR style buffer tube, which would then allow you to attach any AR style stock. Grip here is pretty nice. It's all polymer, pretty smooth, no texturing. It does have a storage spot on the bottom there. But like I said, it's pretty smooth, so there's no, you can grip it pretty well, but there's no texturing on the sides, just in the back, if you want to call that texturing. Overall, pretty nice. If you guys have any questions on the IWI Galil Ace Gen 2, drop a comment down below. Thank you for watching.